without doubt, one of the biggest aspects of bank side management is being organized. I want everything around me to hand. So when that match starts or the session starts, I'm not moving around. Minimal disturbance speeds up that process of fish, especially coming down the margins on commercials and you catch those bigger, wiser fish because you're quiet. So I want everything nice and organized. So I've set everything up in such a way that everything is to hand. I've got a mini side tray there where all my top kit's gonna go. My bait side tray's there. My keep nets are in the water already. I've got them all set up nice and organized. More importantly, the box is level. So the next step I need to do is make sure that my rollers are set up correctly and in line so everything is to hand. And the height of the rollers is especially important as well. Because as I ship that pole across that pole roller, or both rollers in today's instance, I want that pole to naturally then rest on my knee. So let's get the rollers set up. So pole rollers, really, really important. You've spent your hard earned money on a really nice pole. You need to look after it. So today, for example, I'm at Lindo. I'm only using a 13 meters, around 13 to 14 meters of pole. So I definitely want two rollers set up. If I position them correctly, I can make my fishing so much easier. So there's two aspects to consider, height and distance, and of course, position. So let's talk about the first roller to start off with. Now for a start, I want it the right distance away from me, the first roller, because I could be breaking the pole down from 13 meters down to five, six, seven meters from the margin and the short work. So I always want the back end of the pole to be protected off the ground it's going to increase the longevity of the pole it's going to protect the carbon so generally around the five to six meter joint is where i want the first roller so the first position the first position of the first roll is really important and of course height as well comes into it as well i want that pole to naturally come straight off that pole roller when i'm sat on my box to actually glide onto my knee that's going to minimize tangles pole movement make the whole process of shipping that pole out so easy and efficient so like what i've said between the five and six meter joint which is around here and of course you then can measure that up correctly once you get your pole out but it's really important to get your pole rollers set up before you get your pole out then you've got somewhere to place those expensive pieces of carbon to protect them so first thing i want to do is really secure this roller down now it's not a windy day so i'm not going to need to add weights to it but if it was windy that's where I'd add extra weight onto the roller to protect the pole and prevent anything happening during that match or your pleasure session. <clears throat> so the first roller is set up, the height is correct, but one thing I do want to check is the position. So once I think I've got that roller set up correctly, I then stand back and look down to ensure that this side of the roller is in line with the box. So everything's working in synchronization because I'm right-handed and of course vice versa if you're left-handed. Right, let's get the other roller set up now. So positioning of the second roller is equally as important as the first one. Now naturally I have the legs positioned at the same height as my first roller. That's gonna speed up that process when I'm in a match and I wanna minimize time setting up. That means I can concentrate on the more important things like plumbing up, what bait I'm gonna use, etc. So this makes the whole process so much quicker and easier. But of course, like I said at the start, I want that pole to glide off these rollers straight onto my knee. And if they're the same height, that's going to make the whole process so much easier. So of course, height's all right. And of course, I want them want to make sure that everything is in line, everything's in sync. So once I think I've got that pole roller in the right position, I stand back a minute and just check everything's in line, which is absolutely perfect. And of course, I want this roller just to be slightly higher so the pole's at an angle. So there we have it. Be organized when it comes to bank side management. Set your box up correctly, everything nice and organized at hand, but especially when it comes to the rollers, spend that extra bit of time making sure everything's in sync, in line, and it's gonna make that whole process when you're pole fishing in a match or pleasure fishing, a whole lot more easier, less tangles, more bites, more fish, makes the whole process so much more enjoyable.